on TikTok. Just me doing what I fucking do is enough to get me my fucking TikTok views. We're live. Are we? Yeah. Oh, that's nice to tell me. <laughs> I'm not doing TikTok. Welcome, everybody. Today is a Monday. It is August the 24th. Apparently, Jared clicked live as we were getting started here. So we are live today. We've got a lot of great items for you here on the auction today. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get into that stuff. We're just... Uh, Discussing all kinds of things moving forward here. I don't really know what to rant about today. I don't, maybe somebody will have an idea of something that could get me all worked up. So, hey, Josh, welcome, Tony. Um, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. So, we are, we're here. We are ready to rock and roll. Rob's here. We got a bunch of people signing in. So, it's been a, a good weekend. Uh, you know, about the only thing I can really say is um, where is fall? Like, does anybody know where falls at? Because in Iowa, we are back up, going to be in the mid-90s this week, which is absolutely miserable. I'm ready to start getting out. And, oh, here's Rob. I want to see TikTok. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we've been laughing about that. I, I, I just, my TikTok has finally realized that I don't want to watch a bunch of uh, high school girls dancing around. What I want to see is, like, little hacks of life and all kinds of funny stuff and all the Red Nation stuff. You know, welcome to the Red Kingdom. Um, love that stuff, but I, I was mentioning to Amanda this weekend that our dog would be just a TikTok superstar because of her emotions and her face and all that stuff. So we've been joking about it anyway. We bought a ring light to try to get things lightened up here, but it's not in yet. So we were just joking of the fact that I could make some TikTok videos. Um, and judging by the response of how you people and the people that watch this uh, enjoy the rants and what we do on day to day, uh, we think that TikTok would actually be something people would enjoy doing. Um, but quite frankly, I just don't have the time to mess with it. I, I, it's my Sunday morning thing. I sit there and I laugh at videos on TikTok. Um, so there's a lot of fun with that. But uh, yeah, so anyway, going back to what I was saying, mid-90s in Iowa this week, um, trying to get through some stuff here. But all I want to do is, is get through the week, um, get worked back, and, and get down to my farms, pull some trail cameras. Hey, anybody who's got trail cameras out, I know there's been a lot of great deals on trail cameras here on the site. If you guys have some trail camera pictures and stuff like that, post them up. We'd love to see what you guys are seeing for deer activity. It's getting to that time of year, guys. They're going to start shedding their velvet off here in a couple weeks, start running around. It's getting close to hunting season. So we're getting excited with that. As you see, we're starting to get a lot more hunting items. I guess some of the items today aren't necessarily hunting related, um, but starting to bring more and more of that stuff in. Um, overall, number one thing to point out today is that in the state of Iowa, kids went back to school. Um, stick to the rant. See, Rob wants to rant. I don't have anything. I need some topics from you guys. I'm, the COVID stuff is just ridiculous. I'm kind of over it. Um, you guys know my opinion on that. I can go off on that whenever. I did, uh, uh, did some shopping this weekend. I'm trying to find uh, an opportunity where I can buy like a gas mask or something so that I can finally go to Walmart. I've decided that for me to go into a store... I've got to go get some stuff from Menards. I wouldn't mind hitting Walmart for a thing or two, but um, I'm not going to do it unless I can get some really just completely over the top um, mask. And so that's what I'm looking for. My my don't tread on me mask, my Trump mask, all of that stuff. You know, it's just kind of getting old for me. So I want like a big gas mask thing to really prove a point with this. So I've been, I spent a little time Sunday morning shopping for that. Um, I, you know, I want to be, I want to be, uh, uh, I want to be a jerk when I go out. I guess that's all there is to it. I, I can't think of any other way to say it. Um, but kids are back in school, so it's awesome in Iowa. Um, Niala, our dog, is a little mopey today because her kids are gone. Um, but Amanda and I have uh, uh, were excited to have the kids back in school, as I'm sure many parents are. Um, this is the first day in about 18 months. We didn't have to pay for a babysitter, so that's always exciting. Um, and the kids love it. I mean, that's the whole thing behind it. We got an opportunity to talk to Delaney, our daughter, a little while ago. She was thrilled to be back in school. She wore her little face shield and had a mask and stuff with her. But overall, the most important thing to her was being back in school. And I think some of our leaders, um, political leaders and all that BS need to take a look at what that really means. I mean, guys, this is, this is insane. Um, but the kids are back. That's good. We'll see how long they stay. And I'm sure as COVID cases, you know, I'm sure there'll be a COVID case increase with kids going back to school, at least according to um, the numbers and things like that or what people report. Um, so we'll see how long they get to stay. With that, um, did anybody see in Virginia? I saw a post. I'm not sure. I haven't done my research on it yet, but Virginia claiming that they will require vaccination for all Virginia residents. I'm not sure. I've still got to look into this more. Somebody else can Google search it as well. 
Uh, but as the vaccination com uh, conversation begins, there are more and more people talking about the fact that are more people in Virginia stating that they are going to require vaccination. So um, that's what we've been saying is coming all along, guys. Remember, it's just a mask. That's what this all started with. It's just a mask. It's just to flatten the curve. But here we sit four months later dealing with the same crap and COVID is going absolutely nowhere. And David, I can absolutely promise you not only will you get pictures before I go to Walmart, you'll get pictures while I'm in there. So um, that is is something I can guarantee you that I will do. And we will also probably do a video uh, just to film the reactions of all the people around us. But hey, they want me to wear a mask. If I have to go to one of those places, I'm sure as hell going to wear a mask for them. Um, and I'm trying to find one of those cheap suits as well. If I'm going to do it, um, I want to be super sarcastic about it. And, you know, hey, if I got to protect everyone, I might as well do it to the maximum degree. That way we don't have to worry about anybody getting sick from that. So we're going to start talking about hunting here soon. We're going to talk not always necessarily about rants, but we're going to um, start talking about hunting, maybe give some hunting tips, ideas, things we've done. Uh, if anybody's got any ideas they want to share that we can talk about on here as well. Um, we're going to mix some rants in and out as we're doing the pitch, but I want to start talking about hunting because that's what we're coming down to. Um, early teal season coming up here in Iowa. So duck hunting stuff's getting started soon. Goose season's coming up. White tail season, youth season. We've got all kinds of things going on. Um, so we are extremely excited to have fall getting here, even though it sure as hell doesn't feel like it when you're outside. Um, that being said, we've also got a bunch of our cameras out. I'm hoping in the next week or so um, that I'll find an opportunity to run to the farm, pull some camera cards, and that'll give us an opportunity to share. I want to share with you guys what we're seeing on our farms. Um, and hopefully you guys will share what you're seeing on your farms as well. So um, with that, that is all the stuff I've got for today. I'm going to put uh, some ideas together, um, talk about how to use some of these products maybe uh, with each day's auction of how you can utilize this product to do this or whatever um, along with hunting. I'm no expert, but I have killed a few whitetails um, and have had some pretty good success on my properties over the years. Um, so I would uh, be happy to share some of that with you guys and get some debates going and and get some stuff going. So we wanna find ways to interact more with you guys on the pitch and everything else. We wanna get this built up as big as we can. Did have some awesome uh, um, awesome ideas uh, with deer and deer hunting this morning. So trying to put together a package with them. Um, we've got all kinds of good stuff coming up for you guys. So Forrest and Lisa, welcome. Um, we've got everybody on here today. We've got good people on here. Forrest and Lisa, we're excited. I've got a call about coming up to your guys' place here with one of the guys in the next, uh, next hour and a half so we're going to have some more information on that i wish you guys were a little closer to a real airport but uh we're going to get it figured out and we'll have some fun but uh so anybody who's on here right now if you guys want to see one of the most amazing places in the country to hunt check out the wilderness reserve um just google search the wilderness reserve and check that place out i'm going to be there in a couple weeks and maybe it's something we could set up to do with uh taking some guests there next year with us but anyway we're eight minutes in. Kyle, you got anything you want to add to the morning? I don't. Um, okay. Hey, I do got one thing I want to show you guys. Um, check this out. My old man, my daughter has wanted a fish mounted forever. Um, and so my dad, we caught, she caught a big bluegill in the pond about a year ago. And uh, my dad has a really good friend who is one of the top in the world when it comes to carving. So this is an actual wood carving of the uh, bluegill that my daughter caught that he did for her. So um, scaled everything out, built right to her measurements and stuff. Look at that. The guy's name is Charlie Dutter. Absolutely unbelievable replica, all carved from wood. Everything on here is carved from wood. So if anybody ever wants to see something amazing, look up Charlie Dutter. Um, these things are fantastic. But my daughter is thrilled with this, and that's going to be um, a gift that's going to be going in her room soon. But I uh, wanted to show that to everybody before we get going live. Anybody knows I've got several of these carvings around here. But this one is an exact replica of my daughter's fish, which is absolutely cool to get as an eight-year-old. So um, kind of a cool present that my dad did for Delaney. Um, so she's pretty excited about that. So with that, guys, that's all the stuff. Um, did y'all ever get any cups with your logo? Yes, David, we did. Um, shoot Amanda a message and we will get you hooked up. So um, shoot Amanda a message or just message us here on the Facebook page. We'll get you hooked up. We just got cups back in not too long ago. So we've got more of the 30-ounce Big Frig tumblers. Matter of fact, maybe we'll give a couple of those away tomorrow as well. So, hey, guys, I got to get into the auction items. If you have any topics you want us to talk about, debate, questions, anything like that, um, anything to get you guys chit-chatting with us a little bit, let us know. Uh, if there's anybody you'd like to have us have on the show or anything like that, uh, we're open to ideas. I know we've got several of them in the works. We're just trying to get it set up. And this week is going to be interesting because I'm gone for several days. So, 
we are trying to figure out whether Amanda or Jared or Mike or who's going to draw the short straw to have to do this. And so they can all have an opportunity to see how simple it is to stand here and talk to the camera with you guys. So um, anyway, give us your ideas. We'd love to talk about that stuff here on the pitch. I've got 10 minutes to block through or rock through all this stuff. So let's rock and roll with the auction items today. Some great prices on here again today, guys. Be sure to share this with your friends. For your new people watching, it's 12hourauctions.com. That's where you can go to save a ton of money. Yesterday's auctions averaged 40% of retail, guys. One of the lowest days we've had. So for anybody who bought yesterday, you got a fantastic deal. Um, not sure what was going on, but apparently people were busy. And uh, being online wasn't what they wanted to do. So for anybody that was on there yesterday, you got a great deal on that stuff. So let's get into the auction items here. Tony, I see your question there. I'll have Amanda write that stuff down. Um, and we will uh, discuss some of that as we come into some auctions, uh, uh, into some pitches here in the near future. So first item of the day today, we've got the Covert Black Viper, guys. 20 megapixel camera. Um, fantastic little camera. Does 1080 HD video. It is an infrared camera with about a 80 foot uh, infrared flash range on it. Um, 40 no glow light. So it's black and white at night. Color photos during the day. Um, and it has a built in one inch LCD viewfinder on it. MSRP on this handy little camera, $139.99. Current high bid sits at only $44.08. And that's going to end at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next up, in case you guys didn't notice, Jared and uh, uh, Grace had a little mess up. We're going to call it a mess up once again today. So we had a Halo rangefinder on there that was only live for two hours, but our proofreading doesn't always work. Um, so somebody was very fortunate and got to bid, uh, got to buy an item that was only live for two hours. So we put another one on here. So I'm not trying to be uh, uh, too worked up, but this one's already at damn near double what the first one was. So um, anyway, congratulations to the guy who bought that. Um, you got yourself a hell of a deal because my team uh, did not uh, follow through. So anyway, guys, here we go. We've got the Halo Rangefinder. You guys have seen these before. It is a 6X zoom built into the Rangefinder, 600-yard range on it, um, uh, uh, scan mode, uh, angle intelligence so that it gives you that bow hunting angle from a tree stand. Fantastic little uh, uh, rangefinder here. Comes with a carry case, but does not include the CR2 battery that is required. So you're going to have to buy a battery. Great deal on this one. MSRP $139.99. Current high bid on it $73. Um, and one sold this morning for $46. Why is that, Kyle? Because we didn't check the site to make sure stuff was right. I mean, that's a difficult process. I'm sure in your guys' jobs, you never have to check your own work or anyone else's work for that matter. So, Anyway, um, this one is live. This one is going to stay on until, is it going to end at 7.05? It is. All right. So according to Kyle, it's going to end at 7.05. I'll check with Grace afterwards too, since I believe it was Grace's mistake this morning, but we don't want to hurt her feelings. It's more fun to pick on Kyle. Anyway, um, ending at 7.05, MSRP of $139.99. Current high bid sits at $73. Um, and again, that will end at 7.05. Next up, we got a gallon. Isn't this a gallon? Yeah, 128 ounce big frig growler. These are fantastic. Hold a gallon of water, gallon of beer, gallon of milk, gallon of anything you want. If it's a gallon of coffee, your ass is going to be bouncing off walls like I am on a normal basis. But anyway, one gallon, keep your beverages hot or cold for extended periods of time. Doesn't matter. You can set this out in the sun. They are unbelievable, guys. A product I stand behind 100% on a lot of them myself, and it is a fantastic product. So again, one gallon MSRP on a one gallon Big frig, this one's got the pour lid on it and everything, so you can pour it right out. Whole screw, uh, whole top screws off to add ice, whatever you want. MSRP, $64.99. Current high bid sits at only $41, and that will end at $7.10. Next up, we have the hands-free night vision from X-Vision. Guys, these are absolutely awesome. They've been selling fantastic on the site, and people absolutely love them so far. We've already had comments from people, messages, um, that everybody who's bought these has absolutely loved them. Uh, I have a pair myself now, and they are fantastic. So this is the hands-free version. Um, it's a deluxe hands-free bino, so you can set it on your head, not have to uh, use your hands or anything with it. It does have the ability to capture video and take pictures through the night vision, um, and it's unbelievable, guys. I can't even describe how amazing this is, but it is absolutely fantastic. Um, worth every penny of the MSRP, which is $329.99. Current high bid over 50% off, sitting at only 151. Again, that is bid uh, current high bid at 151, ending at 715. So that's the X Vision Hands Free Deluxe. It is a fantastic product. Next up from uh, Muzzy, we have the one 
100 grain broadhead. It is a single piece stainless steel broadhead, all from one single piece of stainless steel. Uh, they are 100 grain broadheads with an inch and one eighth cutting diameter. Fantastic product here. This one is built for your compound or vertical bows. Um, and the MSRP on it is $45.99. Current high bid at $29, ending at $720. Ending at $725, we have the one exact same broadhead, only the crossbow version. So this one is built for your crossbow, still an inch and one eighth cutting diameter, still 100 grain, still built from one solid piece of stainless steel. MSRP on that one, $45.99. Again, built for your crossbows and ending at $725. Next up, for you guys that like to do target archery or just want to work on your release and your mechanics, we have the Sear from True Fire. Fantastic deal. Apparently, not many people know what this one is. This is a great deal if you ever want to get into target stuff. Um, the Sear is a back tension style release. This one is silver in color. It does have the fourth finger option, so you can set it as a three or a four finger. Right here's the piece you need to put it onto a four finger. Um, all kinds of adjustment on this as far as the, the release, um, different thumb placements. Uh, it's a four-sided sear with a click option on it. So it is a fantastic release. Um, and this will absolutely teach you to release with your back and how to pull through versus doing everything where you're just punching the trigger. So if you need to work on your target panic, a release like this can teach you a lot of valuable lessons. Those lessons usually begin when you're pulling your bow back where you uh, turn your wrist too much and punch yourself in the face. That part is free. The rest of it is, is, is a definitely a learning lesson with this but it will teach you to be a better shooter. This one's silver in color. Guys, the MSRP on this one, $169.99. Fantastic deal. Current high bid at only $21. Um, that is the True Fire Sear Silver ending at $730. Again, $169.99. Current high bid at $21. Next up, we have the Dual Clayhawk. This is a three-quarter cock, cock trap. Um, so very nice little hand trap here. This is one you can sit down behind. It throws four different size targets. You sit down behind and cock it, um, and then you just pull the cord, and that is what releases and throws the bird for you. Uh, so a great way if you're shooting with some other people, just a great way to get kids involved in shooting and a very inexpensive way to do it. High quality, built very solid, fantastic product here. MSRP on the backyard three-quarter cock trap is $139.99. Current high bid on that one, guys. Wow, it's going to cost more to ship sitting at only $32.95. I know we got a lot of guys that love to shoot clay pigeons out there, um, so I'm expecting to see that one go up a little bit, but a fantastic deal currently at $32.95, ending at $7.35. Next up, another great deal here. This is a cool knife, guys. Extremely light, very, very durable knife, and it is absolutely, when they say this has a assisted opening, it is true. Watch how fast this thing opens up. Hopefully, I don't flip it, but... Anyway, that knife comes open. It's extremely sharp. Very nice looking little knife here from Browning. It is the uh, Label Steel Duty Assisted Opening Knife. It is a fantastic knife. Um, got these cool grooves in it. Feels very, very good in your hand. And an extremely light handle on it. It's all blade weight on this one. Um, again, very, very nice knife. Opens very easily. Has the belt clip on it. It's a fantastic knife. Um, MSRP on this one is crazy. I don't know, maybe knives are a lot more. I can buy a gun for this. But anyway, uh, MSRP on this one is $329.99. We're 100% sure, right? That's right. $329.99. There's obviously people who have a lot more money than me. I'm a guy who would buy from a site like 12 Hour Auctions where I can buy a $329 knife for our current high bid at $57. That is a fantastic deal. Um, and that's going to end today at 740 Central Standard Time. Uh, Marshall, appreciate the love on the hat. I love this hat. It's fantastic. Check out. Um, you guys know how much I support America. This is the American flag patch hat. If anybody's looking for something like this, it's actually a client of ours. Fierce Headwear is who makes these hats. Uh, we do a lot of business with them, and they are awesome hats. Extremely comfortable. They've got several different patches, all kinds of different things. You can do state or U.S. flags. Uh, but anyway, check out Fierce Headwear. Uh, for that, fierceheadwear.com is the website if you guys are interested in a hat like this. So, um, but thank you, Marshall. I love this hat. They got them in a lot of colors. This one's my favorite. Uh, next up, guys, we have the Viking Solutions Deer Splitter. So, handy little product here. No, Stephen, we don't have shirts yet. Um, still working on getting something done with that. I've got to, uh, it's on the list. I'll promise you that. It's on the list. We just haven't got there yet. Um, from Viking Solutions, guys, this Deer Splitter gives you a little extra handle. It's a stainless steel. But what this is nice for is it prevents you from dulling your knife when you're cutting through that rib cage. 
So you get this opened up, you can grab and just rip through that rib cage to open those deer up with a, a great deal of simplicity. Um, fantastic little product here. It is the Deer Splitter from Viking Solutions. $34.99 is the MSRP, current high bid at $23.38, ending at $7.45. Really nice flashlight here. It's the Cyclops Tactical Flashlight. It's the TF-1500. It is a 1500 lumen uh, flashlight that runs on AA batteries. The batteries are included in this one. Um, extremely bright, very, very nice light here, guys. Um, works from spotlight all the way out to floodlight. Fantastic little light. MSRP on this one, $59.99. Uh, current high bid at $26. Again, under 50% off on that one, ending at seven uh, $7.50 this evening. Next up, we've got another nice little shooting bundle here. Um, it's a shooting protection bundle. Uh, so we've got Winchester earmuffs. Uh, they are a 34 decibel, so a noise rating reduction of 34 decibels on these. Uh, nice little set of earmuffs here from Winchester. Along with that, we've got the sporting glasses with the amber color in them or the yellow color. It is amber, isn't it? ANSI amber color um, from uh, Winchester as well. So nice pair of glasses. And then it comes with the Browning handgun, handgun case as well. So nice little case here, everything combined for one simple price. MSRP on all this stuff combined, $57.97. Current high bid sits at $26.52, and that will be ending today at $7.55. Next up, we have the windmill from SME. This is a self-healing target. Um, so very simple, put it into the ground. This uh, piece actually sits like this and mounts onto it. When you hit it, it spins. Doesn't get much harder to figure out than that, guys. Um, but very, very simple product. It spins when you hit it so you can see what you're doing with it. Um, so a nice little product here from SME and it is self healing. So you can shoot it a lot of times. Good for 22s all the way up to 50 caliber bullets on this one. Um, MSRP on it, $24.99. Current high bid sitting at only $12.51. Ending today at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next up, we have the Scrape Stick. Uh, if you guys haven't seen these, it's a product I use. It's a product I truly believe in. Fantastic for trail cameras and to hunt over, uh, put a mock scrape anywhere, set these up. You can uh, mount this to a tree, straps, everything are included. Or as you can see there in the bottom, you can put that right into a T-post to mount it right out in the middle of your food plot, out in front of your stand, make it anywhere. Simply adjust the angle, everything on it, very simple to do. Um, and then you can adjust this to put your stick in here. Um, and that way your branch will overhang and create that licking branch on your mock scrape. It is a product that works, I promise you that, um, and they have been fantastic deals on here. So again, the uh, it's a three pack of the scrape stick uh, to help build those mock scrapes and licking branches. It's a three pack, all for one money. MSRP on it, $89.99. Current high bid sits at $34.99, guys, and that is a product that works, ending at 8.05 Central Standard Time. Last but not least on the auction today, we have another Carbon Express Hyper Venom Crossbow. Um, you guys like these crossbows. They've gone very well. Um, they are a fantastic looking crossbow. About 400 foot per second is the speed on this crossbow. It does come with the quiver, does come with the rope cocker, but does not include the scope or the bolts. We're going to have some uh, bolts coming in here very, very soon that we put an order in for today. Um, but it is a fantastic product. The one thing I have to point out on this being a 400 foot per second crossbow is this is sold as is. Everything's in the box, everything's set up, the crossbow is gonna be fine, but there is no warranty on this product. When Carbon Express sold the company, the company that bought them elected not to move forward with the crossbow lineup. So we were able to get our hands on this version, which was a new crossbow they had coming out. So we bought the bulk of the inventory or bought the remaining of the inventory. So again, fantastic little product here. It is a very, very nice crossbow um, from Carbon Express, but again, there is no warranty on the crossbow. Uh, parts are going to be a little hard to come by, but it is a great crossbow for a great price. MSRP on this one, again, was going to be $449.99, um, and our current high bid sits at only $182. And that's our last item today that will end at 810 Central Standard Time uh, this evening. So with that, let's see, uh, David, can you get some bigger pistol cases? Yes, David, we will look into that and see what we can get picked up for that. Um, so we will absolutely look at that. Um, Steve or Steven, I gotta be honest. No, there won't be 12 hour masks. Um, it'd be fun to do, but I just don't think I can bring myself to actually, uh, sell any masks or advertise on a mask just because I am so adamantly against them because I don't believe they do anything. Um, just being controlled like the sheep that we are and they want us to be. So, um, yeah, so David's bought a couple of these hats, just looking through some of the stuff. 
But uh, yeah, guys, we are working on designs for t-shirts that we'll have available. Uh, we got all kinds of good stuff coming out. Um, so yeah, that's about all the stuff we have. If you guys have anything you want us to talk about, discuss, um, or get rocking on this website, absolutely let us know. We love hearing from you guys. We love you guys taking a little break, break in your day with us and enjoying some fun. Um, so we appreciate everything all you guys do. We appreciate your bids. Um, and hopefully you guys are happy with the site and loving it for sure. I know we are, and uh, we are hoping to continue to grow as fast as possible. So with that, Amanda, you got anything you'd like to add? Tomorrow is giveaway day. So, and tomorrow will be the last day I'm here for the live. So we'll see what happens. They're going to expect me to dial in, but um, I think this time we might let the kids have to try this on their own. But don't forget giveaway day tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what the giveaways are yet, but I'm sure the team knows they will get that all stuff, that stuff all put together and we'll have pictures out for you guys tomorrow. So you must be an elite member in order to be entered into the giveaways. So get signed up for that. Um, Andy Bobblehead would be cool. I know a company that makes those, so we could get a cool Andy Bobblehead. Yeah. What do you think? Give them away to everybody. Yeah. We could do a Jared Bobblehead that's just saying, yeah, boss, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boss. I screwed up again, boss. I don't know what to do about it, boss. So um, anyway, guys, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming. We're looking into anything we can do to make this more fun. Um, so let us know what you would like to see. Kyle, Jared, you got anything to add today? No. You got nothing? He's got nothing. Remember the hats, you can pick them up at Fierce Headwear. Um, what? Oh, hell yes, we didn't even talk about that. So Jared got engaged over the weekend, y'all. On a Saturday night, our young pup here got engaged and is going to get married. The guy is taking the plunge here in the next couple of years. So congratulations to Kyle or Jared on that, on, on uh, getting engaged. I'm sorry to the lady who's going to have to put up with him for the rest of her life. But uh, we're happy to be marrying him off. Maybe we'll have to do a little less babysitting of it. But congratulations, Kyle. We are proud of you for uh, getting that done and, and looking to have some fun. So make it life size. It only cost 26 bucks extra. Um, no, Josh, we don't need life size bobbleheads. Just little ones would be perfect. But anyway, guys, so congratulations, Kyle or Jared. Congratulations on getting uh, engaged. Look at everybody's passing on. Congrats. They'd all still, every one of them will say congratulations. They'd all still take your spot hunting at the farm, though. I guarantee that. Maybe that's what we'd have to do. Sorry for the miss, Kyle. Um, yeah, exactly right. We all feel bad for her, David. There's no doubt about that. She's a sweetheart of a gal, though. So with that, guys, we appreciate everybody being here. Um, thank you so much. And we will be back tomorrow right here on the pitch. Remember, 12hourauctions.com. That's the website. And uh, that's where you go to place your bids. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow here 